Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jessica Stalker. I'm a real estate agent here in Beverly Hills and I talk all things metaverse. Today, I am so excited to teach you something super simple, but super fun. I wanna teach you how to create an avatar in Sandbox. So let's dive right in. So the first thing I'm gonna have you guys do is go into your computer and type in sandbox.games. Now that's their official website. And once you go on their official website, go ahead on the top right hand side, click sign in. And if you don't already have an account, there's a few different options for you. You can connect with your Facebook, your Twitter, your Google account, or with your MetaMask. And if you have a MetaMask, I would definitely suggest signing in with your MetaMask only because if you wanna buy anything or make any transactions in Sandbox, box, you'll need to have funds in your account and you'll need to be connected with your MetaMask, which is your wallet. So you'll either need to be purchasing things through Ethereum or Sand. That will happen through MetaMask. Now, if you already have a wallet, you can just click import wallet, click I agree. Or if you don't have an account, go ahead and create a wallet and go through the steps that way. Okay, and now that you have your MetaMask wallet connected or however you chose to sign in, I'm going to assume you did it through MetaMask, you're going to hit authorize and connect. And once you click that, it's going to ask you to fill out these fields. You're going to need to fill out your email and also a username. I already have a username. My username is Metaverse Queen, but you can go ahead and choose your own. And now it'll ask for a signature request and you just sign it, which is basically confirming that you've agreed to all of their terms and you're going to go ahead and sign into Sandbox. The last step is creating your own password. So go ahead and create your own password and write this down somewhere. Don't forget it. Okay, so now that we're all signed in, we have our MetaMask or however you chose to sign in, go on the top left hand side, click on these three arrows and it'll say home, alpha, market, create, map, and about. I'm gonna go have you click on create and it'll take you to the game maker where you can build different games for the metaverse and you can create different applications, different levels, create different accessories. And if you scroll down below, you can create for free. So you can create different games for free if that's something that you're interested in. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can see kind of like the system requirements here. Now, once you click on app, avatar, you're going ahead and click on create avatar. So here you can see they have the pre-designed avatars. And what you're going to want to do is click on one of these pre-designed avatars and you can change the preferences based off who you kind of want to look like and how you want to represent yourself in the metaverse. The choice is up to you guys. And this is kind of like the fun part. Like, what do you want to look like? How do you want to portray yourself in the metaverse? I'm going to go ahead and click on Lucy and customize her skin tone. So I'm a little bit it's, I'm not really tan right now, so I would go ahead and click this one. That's still a bit pale, but it's the only option I have. Okay. Now here it shows you can custom body parts and maybe I want my face to be a little bit different. You can change her head, this is kind of funny. Now I'm Susie, I changed myself a little bit. And here, what does Susie wanna wear? Susie wants to wear a warm jacket because right now it is freaking cold in California. So just like I'm wearing a jacket right now, I'm gonna go ahead and wear a jacket because it's winter time, so why not? Now click on pants. Now let's do winter trousers, let's stick with the, the whole, it's cold outside and I'm gonna put on a lot of layers. Winter trousers and winter shoes. Yeah, let's keep on doing that. He looks like he's going snowboarding, so it's perfect. I'm actually going snowboarding this weekend. Now my avatar is looking pretty funny. As you can see, if you can scroll down, there's a bunch of different options. You can click modern boots, jogger shoes. When you're on shoes, you can click different pants. And I understand this avatar looks very much like Minecraft, ro like a robot. It doesn't necessarily look like you, so you have to kind of be creative when you're doing this. There's not a lot of options right now when you're creating an avatar, but we'll go with what we can and make it the best that we can. I'm trying to make it a girl, but it, it looks like a boy. So we're just gonna stick with this for now. Okay, now that we have this, we're going to save changes. Okay guys, now that you've created your avatar, it may not be exactly what you want because look, we have limited options. The technology hasn't matured enough to make us have an avatar that looks exactly like us. So we're going to have to deal with the cards that we were dealt. So this is what my avatar looks like. I'm sure your guys' avatar looks amazing as well. Okay, so once you guys have your avatar, go ahead and close this browser 
browser and open a new browser. So depending on which computer you're using, Windows or Mac, you're going to need to download the app Sandbox and it's going to be a different browser that you're going to be exploring the game in. Now that we have the browser here, this is the game Sandbox and it takes a while to load. Once you've installed the game and once it's loaded, you can then see your avatar and walk around and play games and buy parcels. It's really important to create an avatar that you feel like best represents you when you are exploring in the world because it makes it more fun when you're walking around and exploring in an avatar that you've created yourself. I just wanted to walk you really quickly through on how to make an avatar and what that looks like because I have a lot of people that are like, what do the avatars look like? Do they look like a real person? Do they look like a Minecraft, a robot? And the answer is yes, they do kind of look like a little Minecraft and the pixels are not very lifelike because the technology just isn't there yet. So we haven't matured to that rate yet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you hopefully in the next video.